Deshaun Williams with Dallas South News and Sweet 609 the Dallas South News Micro Show. I'm with Dallas Cowboys great Everson Walls. We are here at the Jubilee Center today. And well, early this morning, I saw you, you know, in there <laughs> moving and grooving. Tell everybody why you're here and what you're, you're doing here at the Jubilee Center today. Yeah, we're here uh, with Verizon. Uh, Verizon is uh, hosting an event uh, every day leading up to the Super Bowl. we got 45 more days to go. And uh, everywhere they go there, donating uh, money to a particular facility or to a particular uh, event so that uh, you know they can bring more uh, into the community, uh, money or otherwise, so that uh, people can be aware of the Super Bowl and coming to North Texas, and, and also aware of some of the uh, communities around the North Texas area that are in need of some help in uh, community activities. As a long-time NFL player, you know, you play with a few different teams. What do you think the Super Bowl is going to mean to North Texas coming here? Are we ready for it? Oh, well, we are ready for it. We've been ready for it for quite some time. Uh, you know, the Cowboys have put a lot into the stadium. Uh, North Texas has also put a lot into relationships as well. And you know, we're known around Dallas and, and the Fort Worth area of being a little bit uh, isolated in our communities. And I think this uh, Super Bowl is really going to bring the communities together, not just for the Super Bowl, but also after. And what other things do you have going up for these last 45 days personally? What are some of the events that you will be, we can see you at? You'll see me at a few of the uh, NFL sponsored events. You'll also see, uh, see me at our event, uh, which is the Gift for Life Foundation event. It will be held at the Fig Building, February 3rd, uh, downtown, right across from Fairmont. Uh, that is going to be in honor of Ron Springs and myself uh, and our foundation, the Ron Springs and Everson Walls Gift for Life Foundation. We're going to have a few people there. Bruce Hornsby okay. actually grew up with Ron Springs, mm -hmm. and he's going to come and perform uh, Emerald City as well, a group that's been around since right, the, right, right. Uh, oh, you yeah. know, oh, Emerald yeah. City back in the, the whole 70s. Catalog. That's oh, right, yeah. and, and we were fortunate enough to get them early on. So you'll see a nice little jam session, a uh, little gambling for charity, mm -hmm. uh, as well as you'll see uh, DJ Gadget, who is my son, okay. Cameron yeah. Walls. He'll be there uh, DJing as well uh, in his own little isolated area. So we're going to make it a family event. We're going to make it a local event. And we've always done well uh, by the uh, former Dallas Cowboys as well as the present Dallas Cowboys. We're going to be there supporting myself and Rod Springs. Now the NFL season is winding down. Can you tell us who you think is going to come to Arlington to play? Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to say this, but uh, believe it or not, my front runner is the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, if it wasn't for Michael Vick, then I'd still be hating the Eagles much more than I do right now. But right now, they're the less of the Eagles in the NFC, NFC. I look for them to go, as well as the uh, New England Patriots. You got two quarterbacks playing very well. Both of them going for MVP of the uh, NFL. And uh, I think it's going to be a very exciting contest. But whoever is going to be there, I think North Texas is going to be the winner. Well, we want to thank you so much for taking some time, Mr. Wild, uh, here with Verizon here at the Community Center at Jubilee. And I look forward to seeing you at other events uh, before the Super Bowl. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate it.